Hello, this is Tim Campbell at Action Coach Business Coaching with my Survive and Thrive Business Spotlight series. The purpose is to interview local business owners and promote them through my social channels and email database, as well as provide them coaching. This is a free service I'm doing because if we save every business, we save the economy. Today, I have the pleasure of talking with Farah. Welcome, Farah. It's great to have you on the program today. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's great to be here. Well, let's jump in with having you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Sure. So I'm a family nurse practitioner and I opened up a direct primary care clinic. So essentially what that is, is we provide full service primary care. So 80 to 90% of your healthcare needs for a low monthly membership fee. So we take the middlemen, insurance, hospital administrators, all of that overhead, we just take it out and we make it just so we can focus on patient care. And so with that, I provide a lot of extra services that just weren't, aren't there in the traditional insurance system. They have extended appointment times, um, same day, next day access. There's never any wait time. Uh, you know, I give upfront transparent pricing and cash pricing on labs and procedures if need be to kind of help you budget your healthcare dollars. I can help coordinate your specialist care. And, um, and then I also do virtual visits to kind of help you save time. So telemedicine is a big part of the clinic and we do a lot of that. Um, so when they have direct access to me, they have access to this. That's my cell phone. So the number that they're given is my cell phone number and it goes directly to me. So I have it on me all the time um, and, you know, kind of gives them that 24 seven access, of course, within reason. Um, <laughs> but to, you know, if you have a, if you have a thought or you have something you wanted to follow up on or something like that, you can give me a, you know, shoot me a quick text and then we're, you know, it's easy. So essentially I'm just trying to fix our healthcare system and provide better healthcare services to people because, you know, healthcare is a right, you know, it's something that we should, we all deserve to have great healthcare. And a lot of people I've seen have been failed in the system. So I'm trying to fix that. Fantastic. And how long have you owned your own business? So I opened up Cool Creek Family Health May 1st. So amidst the whole COVID pandemic. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we've been open as of May 1st, 2020. Okay, fantastic. So um, given that it was during the pandemic, what mm -hmm. has been the greatest challenge that you've uh, faced uh, opening during the pandemic? So um, I will say nothing beats a face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. So, you know, getting in front of people and talking to them, this direct primary care model, it is, it is completely outside of the box of what we know. Everybody thinks that health insurance equals health care, and that's just not the case. And so it's, it's been very difficult with um, like trying to convince people over the phone or things like that. And it's not trying to convince them, it's just trying to educate them, you know? And so nothing beats that face-to-face. -face. So one of the more difficult things was that I couldn't get people in here, you know, for a meet and greet or that kind of thing. Now it's gotten a bit easier and people are more open to discussing. We have masks on, everything's cleaned and all of that stuff as it always had been, but there's a little less fear. Um, and then, you know, we talk to, we, we work with small businesses as well. So we provide a healthcare benefit for small businesses. So if you can't provide insurance because it's so expensive per employee, but if you pay the monthly membership fee, you're covering 80 to 90% of their healthcare needs and giving them a provider. You're not just giving them an insurance plan and saying, here you go, good luck, go find somebody. It's your giving, you're saying, I've met Farah. She's solid, she's awesome let's go, you know, let's go with her and, you know, she can provide your health care. And then, you know, I can help coordinate care outside of that. So I work with that. And so circling back to your COVID question, um, it's been hard. It's been hard to get in front of business owners because we can't go face to face. And so I think once things kind of clear up, it'll be a little bit easier. The business owners I've been able to get in front of love it. And they're all on board. Fantastic. So then um, just digging into that a little bit more, what are one or two things that you've done um, during this time to make a difference for your business and how's that been working for you? So um, there's kind of two things like, so clinically for my patients, it's been, you know, obviously if they're acutely sick, you know, I'll do everything that I can telemedicine visits wise and everything. I won't have them come in the office. To be honest, they're uncomfortable coming into the office too. So, uh, but I can provide telemedicine again with that direct access. It's like, it's not just, oh, I had a telemedicine visit and then you don't hear from anybody. I'll check in. How are you doing? How's it going? Um, I've been able to provide them the telemedicine or just the text communication of, 
I've had an exposure. What do I do? You know, nobody has to go down the Google rabbit hole that's enrolled. They just, I'm able to give them those answers, you know? And so that's been, I think has been a very rewarding thing for patients who have joined that they're just kind of like, oh my gosh, this is, this is nice. I had one patient text me the other day that was like, she was texting about her husband who isn't a member yet, but, um, she said, well, I just didn't want to Google because I think you're so smart. And I just thought I'd ask you, I hope it's okay. And it's like, it's fine. Totally fine. You know? So, um, I think that in, it has provided a lot of anxiety. And so being able to have that, um, has been helpful with the COVID crisis. The other thing was that in the very beginning, um, a lot of primary care offices didn't offer COVID testing because they didn't want to see sick patients or they didn't want to see exposed patients. I still offered it. So, um, you know, I, I think that's a huge thing. You shouldn't have to go to another healthcare provider, another healthcare system or whatever it is to get that COVID test. You should be able to go to your office. And so that's been a huge, uh, you know, a lot of patients of mine are just like, oh, that was so easy. I didn't have to go register at some facility and whatever, you know, it's like, it's you, you're doing it. I know what's happening. So that's been good too. Fantastic. So here's an interesting question. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes have you made along the way that other entrepreneurs can learn from your experience? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, you know, it has been that I've been learning from my mistakes. I will say like, it really is nothing beats a face-to-face is like I was saying before, it's that I, I did a lot of, I tried to push a lot to phone calls and, and be there and, and you know, and, and one of the things as far as talking to patients is having a quiet space. So I don't answer the phone when I'm driving. I don't, like, I try to make sure that I devote all my attention to, and I, you know, and some people find that they've had, what I've learned from others is that they tried, they tried too much too soon. And mm -hmm. so, um, that's one thing that I've learned from others. I am a, I, I am networked with a lot of other DPC providers throughout the country and we talk, we share ideas with each other. And that's really been a huge benefit, you know, that they've shared some things as they've grown. And so one of the things has been, um, to make sure I don't take on too much at once because the idea is I want to provide same day visits. I want to provide all of that care for my existing members and not to let my ambition of trying to get a bunch of other members in overshadow the great care that I can provide for my loyal, loyal fan base, I guess. Is <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> That's great. Uh, second, last question here. So I'm going to get your contact information to be able to share out to folks uh, when I post this uh, video. Um, but is there anything else that I sh we should include in that? Anything you'd like to mention? Do you have special offers or how can people learn more about uh, the service that you provide? So I do, one of the things I think sets me apart from all general primary care is that I provide a free meet and greet. So you, you know, usually I have those Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, I leave those available so people can come in and talk to me. And the thing is, is I want you to want to be here. I don't want, and you know, we don't have any contracts, we don't have enrollment fees, we don't have anything like that because my hope is that we have a good enough relationship that you'll want to be here and you'll want to keep paying on the monthly, you know, the monthly fee. Um, so I do that. One of the things we have changed uh, from when we started to as of the new year is we are including your annual physical labs within your membership. So um, you, all those basic labs that people have that, you know, insurance sometimes does and does not cover it doesn't matter. We cover it. It's taken care of. You know exactly what that is. So that's something that is kind of a new offer for, for people that are joining now. Um, and, uh, you know, essentially, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of extra free offers or anything like that because I want people, I, I think when I sit down and I can talk to people and do a meet and greet nine times out of 10, they're going to sign up because they see that it's a great service and it's something that they've been missing for a long time. So I, I think the, the initial free consultation is, is a great offer because to your point, it is a different type of service that folks aren't really um, used to and understand. So knowing yeah. that they come in and talk to you for free and, and you know, learn a little bit more and figure it out, I think that's a fantastic approach. Yes. Yeah. It's been beneficial. And that, like I was saying before, it was just trying to explain on the phone just doesn't work. And then they can come in, they can see the office space and see, you know, how, how they'll feel comfortable here when we're providing their care. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So last question here. Um, what has been most inspiring to you during all of the craziness of 2020? 
Oh my gosh. I would have to say just starting a business in general in the midst of a pandemic has been an interesting experience. It's been amazing and I would, would never trade it for anything, but um, I couldn't even, so I started it. So I knew that it was going to be a slow growth. I planned for it financially. We've, you know, all of that. And we're actually growing faster than we financially planned, which is great. Okay. Um, but I admire and I'm inspired by all of the existing business owners who were working on a certain system and have now found super awesome creative ways to pivot how they do their business and still continue to be successful, if not even more successful. I think um, that is, that's super inspirational. And, you know, we're having that healthcare crisis and I'm in the midst of healthcare, but there's going to be other stuff down the road that I would want to learn as a business owner on what are new ways, what are new things that I can do to offer more things I can offer for my patients and things like that. And um, that creativity in the business realm is just, it's very inspiring. Fantastic. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing. All right. Um, that concludes the interview. For those listening, if you've heard something that you'd like to learn a little bit more about, as uh, Farah mentioned, she does offer that complimentary uh, first session so you can uh, ask her questions, get more comfortable with the, the process, and, and then make that decision to, to join on. So again, I'll include that contact information in this post. As well, if you if you just heard things in general that uh, are, are intriguing to you or something that you're struggling with in your business, I offer a complimentary coaching session. It's an opportunity to do a deep dive into your business. Um, as Farah mentioned, maybe you you are still struggling with needing to pivot your business, and and that's something that we can talk about in that uh, in that meeting. So I'll include that information as well. Farah, it's been a pleasure learning about you and your company, and I wish you tremendous success. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You're absolutely welcome. Have a fantastic day. You too. Take care. All right. Bye now.